Hello everybody, this is Mr. Your Willy for another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a race, rally, and rocket race map. Now, first obviously you need to make sure you're in Forge. Secondly, you need to make sure that the game type is race or else it won't work. You won't see the labels. Now, here are some labels and this is kind of a mini tutorial in the tutorial. These labels were not meant to be here. That one are not object labels, objects. That one there's one underneath there. Those weren't supposed to be here. There's one on top of the structure right there. And the reason why those are there is I was making the invasion tutorial, but I forgot to set it up to be game type specific true. See, invasion, res, er, res, zone. Now, what I can do is I can end the game, go into invasion, start the game, change it, end the game, go back to race, start the game. That's really time consuming. What you can do if and only if you have the game label set up for that game. So this is INV, so that is for invasion. I can set it up to be true. Now I've already did this to those over there just to speed things along. But if you set it up to be true, all you have to do is save your map and you're done. The map, uh, the object's still there, but it won't show up for your race. Now to prove this, I'm going to end this. And remember, I told it to be game specific true while I was in the race game type. So when I back out and start it again, if I'm right, those objects won't show up. So see race, map, go ahead and just start again. This is a really good way of act like if you're making a game for multiple game types and you go into another game type and you realize, oh, whoops, I forgot to make this bomb plate and game type specific true. Well, you can still say game type specific true because you have the object here, the object up there, the object, oh, this one I forgot to say true. Yep, see, forgot to say true. Uh, I even make mistakes. And this one, uh, all reset. So that's an easy way of fixing it. That I'm not even going to reset the map for just because those will go, that one will go away anyways. So, but that's a way of fixing it in case you notice that a game type object is in this one when it's not supposed to be. Now to the real tutorial. Now that I've done this little mini tutorial on how to correct your game type labels without having to end it and completely restart. First off, you want to figure out where you want to start your racing track. Well, this map is not a race map in any way, shape or form. So I'm just going to make it kind of loop around the fort. I looked at that safe haven, which is that shield looking thing to know what my boundaries were. Anything that's outside this area, obviously in the ocean, I can't go, but over there you can see that kind of white line on the ground. Anything that goes past that, I'll start counting down it. Maybe I want that in my map. So I'll go ahead and consider that as an option. This is kind of flat. We'll go ahead and put this as the starting point. Now the starting point is very simple. All you do is put an initiation spawn point and make sure you tell it to be game specific true or else it's going to screw up your other game types. Now there's two ways you can label this. One is just saying race. Second is saying race spawn. Now I do want to clench a rumor right now. People assume that because it says race spawn it is required to have that in the game or it does something special. It does absolutely nothing special. This label is just like the infected spawn label. It's just for you to remember that this spawn point is for the race game type, just like races, but it's more defined. So it's not required for your game to work. You don't even need it in your game. You just need initiation points. You don't even need to label them if you don't feel like it, and they'll still work. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and label them, even with the uh, race one just so that I know when I'm in basic editing because that shows every game type um, that this is made or that that was a race spawn point. So like maybe I'll be wondering why do I have these random guys out here in the middle of nowhere? Look at it, it says race. I'm like oh that's why. So just to clarify that rumor that people keep having. Now I'm gonna space this out a little bit more because these guys will spawn here with a mongoose or Warthog, or uh, I think you can have one of the flying vehicles as well. I um, don't know which one off the top of my head. I believe it's the uh, Covenant sh uh, ship. You can use that too to make flying aerial maps. Um, 
but that's where they'll spawn and they'll actually spawn in the vehicle now you want to obviously you want them to be pointing the way that you want you don't want them facing this way if the race is going that way so definitely make sure you're pointing them the right way now what you need to do is you need to set up where they're actually going what's the point of this race map so first I'm gonna set it up as a race map then I'm gonna show you how it works as an as a rally in as a uh, rocket race so objective you can use a flag stand I've seen people use flag stand it's not required and personally I like hill markers one you get a lot more you get 75 around that by default obviously this map has been used for other game types so it's less but even then you still got a lot less so here is your checkpoint and the checkpoint I'm gonna have one in between these rocks um, is by the area so if they don't actually enter this area they won't get the uh, checkpoint so if you have it kind of like an odd angle like this you definitely want to make sure that the bottom goes all the way down maybe you want to give the radius even bigger or maybe a little bit taller the second thing you need to know is see that little spawn point looking thing at the bottom of the arrow wherever that is pointing that's where you will respawn by default if you guys have played a race map before you might know if you like fall off a cliff when you respawn you get a couple seconds and you can kind of look around and that's where you'll respawn well the default view will be facing this way and you generally want that the direction that they'll be continuing your race if you um, if you want your map to be anywhere considered to be complete you'll definitely want to do that because if people spawn and this is pointing this way so they're looking at this rock and they have to rotate over here each time that's really annoying and to people that makes it look like you didn't really care about your map but if you make it so that they don't even have to think about it that's a good thing so there's one checkpoint now the thing that we need to do to set it up to actually be considered a checkpoint is one make sure you tell it to be game specific true like I said earlier in the tutorial if you forgot you can change it in the next game type you do or you can just go back and change it but it's a good idea just so your maps not cluttered when you're trying to do another game type um, and then for the game type label you want to do race flag and then for spawn sequence this is what order you want the flags to show up so obviously this being my first flag I want it to be number one now you can either do that by just looking at it like I did or you can actually grab it and do it either or um, now let's set up the next one so this is going to be spawn sequence 2 obviously it needs to be race flag game specific true and like I said I want this to go outside the map so let's uh, go kind of like over here and I want them to be kind of facing this way and let's make the bottom a little bit lower there you go now I'm gonna fly up here just so I can see what my region is there we go fly over here alright so they're going through here they kinda go around this bank let's make them go actually I have an even better idea let's make them go over here so I'll put a checkpoint here and then I'll have them come up here so they have to make this corner in less than 10 seconds so it kind of adds a little challenge to the map why not use what we already got so I'm gonna make the bottom heck I'm even gonna make it a square because it can be a square it can be any shape you want it to be um, people who make race maps off of like bridges and stuff you might want to make it a square make it like thin and wide um, that way it fits the whole bridge because a round one doesn't really make sense for those um, so yeah you gotta enter here and once again you want to make them face the right way this is the third one so you gotta go up to three game specific true and make it a race flag then the next one will be right in here right when you enter this probably isn't the best racing map in the world like I've said that last one was four um, but it's the best way of just showing you how it is without actually making a race map I just realized that I that was crooked I didn't want that and you're facing inside so you go in here let's make two more checkpoints one we'll put here top of this hill facing the ocean we need to make it five and we need to make it 
true and race flag and then the last one we'll have the um, hmm let's let's just have him go around this corner and then back to the flag so this will be the last one what did I say that was five I believe so I'll make this six true raise flag and this will be like the final checkpoint and it by defaults already figures if you reach the last number it's gonna go back to one so if you want it to have it where the race continues for three loops or something like that this would be considered one loop and then after that point it will uh, start counting from one again in its sequence but you'll get one completed lap so the first person who completes three laps wins that kind of thing you usually want to set the last one exactly where they spawn or if like you have a spawn point from them up here and they drop down on the map then obviously you don't want it up there because you can't get up there anymore so you might as well put it where they drop down on the map so that they can continue now that's all you need for the race map to work you're done now let's say you want to do a rally map technically you're done what about a rocket race map well you're done and the reason why I say that you're done is the only difference between the race map and the rally map is race you have you know these spawn sequences which tells it okay first go there then go there then go over there a rally will just ignore the spawn sequence so it says I like this one now I'm gonna put it over there now I'm gonna put it over here now I'm gonna move it over there and I'm gonna move it over here so it just randomly picks them so the first person who enters that checkpoint gets the point and then it randomly picks a new one so you can make your map work for a rally map and a race map the only problem is you gotta make sure that the race map is completed first and then you gotta look at it and say does this work really for a rally map because if it's a single race map like a loop that wouldn't work very well because when you enter this one the next checkpoint's way over there well you gotta turn around and go back so you definitely gotta make sure that your map is compatible with it yeah, it can work with it. You know, you can play a race map on any map, but does it actually make it fun? And Rocket Race is the exact same as a Rally Race. The only difference is, by default, we don't have Rocket Race in our game types. So you have to download it from Bungie. Now, you can do this by actually playing a custom matchmaking, or not custom matchmaking, but if you play a matchmaking game and Rocket Race shows up, you can view your most recently played maps and download it save it from that so you can have a rocket race of your own that way or ask a friend who might have rocket race already saved um, you can do those too but that's it your race your rally your rocket race map is complete definitely make some fun tracks you know you want to make it entertaining you want to make sure that people you know have a good time show their friends and spread your map around so definitely put some time and effort into it this is Mr. Willy signing off. I hope this tutorial helped you. As always, comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.